Good morning once again and welcome back to New Day. Now we are talking about the DJ Awards. This is the um, the second edition. Nominees um, have been unveiled. There have been lots of controversies. And um, it's coming up this Saturday at the National Theatre. And DJ Mercury, the organizer of the awards, is here with us in the studio to tell us all about it. The nominees, um, the rationale behind the, um, the award scheme, the controversies, and of course what to expect this Saturday. Hello, DJ. Hi, DJ Sandra. I, I'm not oh, a DJ. Okay, not yet. Yes, yeah, sorry. You you are now enrolling too, me. So no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm happy okay. be doing what it's, I do. It's all right. <laughs> it's good to see you. Good to see you. What is the rationale behind the awards? Um, you know how important DJs are in our lives. Without the DJ, you know, there is no music, and music is life. You know, so. It, it's 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 just you know a good thing to make the men who play the music on our radios at our parties you know at the nightclubs you know feel loved feel important you know because um, you know before the Ghana DJ Awards we only thought about DJs when we, we went had to a the party club. you know mm. went to the go oh, Charlie you run, you know and now I say today there's spotlight on DJs people are voting for DJs people are getting to know new DJs. I remember when we came up with the Ghana DJ Awards, the first question I had on my first radio interview was, how many DJs are there in Ghana? Because apparently at that time there were just about three or four names that were known, you know, so basically that, that would be the rationale behind it. Okay, and yeah. this is the second edition this year? This is it? the second edition. How was it last year? Um, last year was great, challenging, um, you know, because you know, it's, it, it, one thing I, I have realized about Ghana, it, it takes some time for them to accept new things. They, they, they always love what they are used to, you know, so when you start anything, it is very difficult. But then uh, we're very glad that, you know, about two years down the line, it, it looks even bigger than we thought it was going to get in three years or four years. You know, it means that you're really down with what we are doing. And um, uh, challenges, yes, of course, you know, because it was the first time. It's just like a radio station or a TV station that starts a test transmission. If transmit uh, format will blow off, you know, at a point in time, they get a fix, we'll be back on air and things like that. So... We had a few challenges, but you know, we, we have been working on these and it looks really good right. at this now, point. You're a DJ yourself, aren't you? Yes. Don't you think that there will be some kind of, or there is a kind of uh, a conflict of interest? You being a DJ, you organizing a DJ's awards, don't you want to be nominated yourself? Don't you want to be recognized? No, I. I, I have you been nominated in any of the categories? I, I, I can't be nominated. Exactly. And How I don't does that make you feel? Yeah, it makes me feel good because you see, the recognition comes with the recognition. You see, I I am helping to recognize. So through that, I get recognized. Don't so, you think you're doing a good job yourself? Don't you think you need to be recognized? No, I I, I, I just want to be recognized. I just want to be remembered 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years from now that this is the man who, you know, fought to actually get DJs into another frame altogether where, you know, DJs actually, you know, got the spotlight, not just for playing, you know, but, you know, becoming celebrated DJs, you know, getting paid better, you know, because last year, um, there were a couple of DJs who got nominations who won, and just by winning, they got jobs as radio, you know, DJs, they, you know, they, they got endorsements, you know, we have recorded endorsements of about $20,000 and things like that, you know, so um, that is how we enhance, you know, the DJ profession, that's how we throw the spotlight on it and add value to it, and that's what's most important to me. Okay, what is the prize package like for the, um, the winners or the category? In order not to make it look like a competition, you know, I. But it I, is a competition. It, well, it, it is not a competition. It's, it's recognition. You but know. At the end of the day, someone wins and it, someone goes home without a trophy. Somehow, <laughs> <laughs> somehow it shapes out as a competition. But you know, we don't want it to look like that. If you look at you know the biggest award events like the BETs, or uh, the Grammys, and all of that, they don't come with prizes. You see, the prestigious win, that win, that nomination, that gets your name on that list that says. He is a nominee of the Ghana DJ Awards. He's a nominee, you know. So that is what we want to focus on. However, <clears throat> last year, for example, LG gave the best DJ of the year a huge sound system. In fact, when DJ Black got to LG to pick his award, oh, so DJ Black he got it. He DJ got, Black, they gave it to yeah, him. They gave it to him. He thought it was a machine you could just, you know, put into his car. 
and it had to take a whole van, you know, to deliver. You know, so basically, these are the surprises that will be pulling up. But I don't want us to look at it with respect to the prizes and everything. It has to be on the award, the plaque that you take back home. Okay. Now I'm happy to hear that DJ Black um, received his um, his prize. Mm. Now we had um, stories about veteran broadcaster Tommy Anand yes. not being too happy with the organization because he didn't get his plaque or his uh, trophy or award. Well, um, uh, what's the story? With yes. That? Well, that 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 happened at a point in time, but where it stands now, and I think the most important thing is that veteran broadcaster Tommy Anand has said that and. Quite interesting, very interesting. He has said that when the old man up there calls him, his DJ award plaque should be put in his coffin. Does he have it now? He has it. Okay. You know, and why and did it take so long to well, get it to him? Well, as I said, I've told you that there have been challenges. I mean, first time of doing it. Now, let me say. Okay, oh, this year, yes. are they going to get there? They, they the are. They on stage, are. on the night. On the night, but that's going to be ceremonial. Just like the BETs, as part of the Ghana DJ Awards tradition. The plaques are presented ceremonially to the winners. What happens is that the names of the winners are etched on the plaques, mm -hmm. and there's no way we could know the winners until after the announcement. So you have to go and um, you have to take the... it back to the yes and emboss them on it. And that's what we are doing, etc. That's what's different about the DJ awards, because there are a few awards that go on, and you know, if you win an award. It would take maybe checking on the internet or checking somewhere to know it belongs to you because your name is not on it. Okay, so eventually they will get it. They will, okay, yes, just exactly. try and get it to them quicker so they don't, you know, get upset and all of that. All right. Now, um, one more question I wanted to ask you is about the category for best um, radio DJ of the year. What is a radio DJ? A radio DJ. Like, for example, let me say the female radio DJ of the year list. You have um, Delay from Oman FM, Doreen and Joy FM, mm -hmm. Ohima from Adam FM, and Jessica from City FM. Aren't these people radio presenters? presenters? Well, they are presenters and they are DJs. They are DJs because they play music on their shows. You okay. see? They, they, they are presenters who have DJs playing for them on their shows. Right. And they are presenters who play music on their shows. Okay, so these particular um, people actually play the music play themselves. Play the music themselves. Okay, so that's the difference. That's the okay. difference. So right. you, it, that's to say that there are different types of you know DJs. They are battle DJs, the guys right. who okay. talk with music. All right, all right, all right. We're almost out of time. But last okay. question. Why did DJ um, Perfect get dropped from the list? Well, he got dropped because um, he he felt that um he didn't deserve that he didn't deserve to, to be, be there yes to be there did you, know? you agree with him because he was um, finally dropped well he, he, yeah we finally had to drop him you know pay pay the pay, pay his request and also we did a few checks and you know we agreed that well we, we, we agreed with him, so we have to Okay, so he right. Okay, yeah. so the awards is coming up this Saturday at the National um, Theatre. It's this Saturday, the 22nd of February, and it's at 7 p.m. Red carpet starts at 7 p.m. Tickets going for 50 Ghana cities and 80 Ghana cities for VIP, and you can get the tickets at Koala or Joy FM, and there will be artists like VIP, Edem Keche, Miss V, Stoneboy, and Ochea Mikwami. You do not want to miss this. I will be there myself. And of course, um, Clint the Junk will be the Post, why clean the junk? We couldn't get find somebody in Ghana. Well, we, well you, you want me to answer that? Okay, we, mm -hmm. we, 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 we could find somebody in Ghana, but you see, we also want a spotlight to be on Ghana. Okay.